Hey guys, welcome to today's 1-6 Galaxies video. Today, we are taking a look at the man with no name, which is Clint Eastwood from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, I'd just like to say, if you're not already in the group, do uh, join. We've had a fair bit of discussion the last couple of days, and with all of the Hot Toys updates with the new sculpts and stuff, um, there's a few discussions around those. And of course, um, just discussion around good prices in general. Uh, when Wu's already having a pretty good um, fall in price, uh, which is rather unfortunate for, um, I suppose, the character and actor, but um, in, in terms of us, it's already dropped like $40 in one day, um, which is insane. So I, I think at the moment you can get it for the same price as Pop Culture early, but I, I reckon I'll be able to get it for roughly the same price that I got um, Shang-Chi for. So yeah, do check out the description link and um, join that Facebook group. Um, so this guy was from Pop Culture. Um, I paid about 375 which I know is a little bit high for a sideshow figure, but it's just because a lot of the... Um, prices have been so high lately that the 10% um, with the extra 10% in pennies uh, just works out to be about that. There are a fair few Hot Toys figures that are cheaper than that once you use the 10% though, which is quite nice. Anyway guys, let's get into this. So we can see the red and white box, um, it tells us straight away that it's the name of no name. We have a picture of Clint Eastwood and a cannon, it tells us that it's Clint Eastwood the good, the bad, and the ugly, and that it's a sideshow six scale. Uh, coming around the top, it does say the good, the bad, and the ugly on the top. Uh, on the signs, it tells that it is part of the Clint Eastwood uh, Legacy Collection uh, sideshow. Um, on the back, it's got a quote, sideshow.com, the barcode that sideshow would use to scan it, um, and then um, a picture of Clint Eastwood as well. Um, when you lift up the shoebox, all of the logos and things are actually on the underside which is quite cool uh just that same legacy collection sideshow uh when you do open the shoe box um there is no art cards similar to what we get with uh, hot toys however um as per usual with these things now um there is a ribbon this one just says the clint eastwood legacy collection all right so this guy has a total of nine hands so going over uh, the hands. There are two trigger. Fi there are two trigger fingers. Um, so there's one for holding the rifle, uh, and then there's one for holding the pistol. Um, the detail on them is what you would usually expect from a hand. It's not a great deal um, of detail there, but it looks fine as you would expect a hand to look. Um, there's this gripping hand, which I will get to uh, in a moment. What it's used for. Um, there's these two kind of gesturing hand on hips type of a hand as well. If you wanted to use it for something else, you probably could. Uh, and then we get the usual um, fists in the right and left. So you get two of those right and left. Um, so with that gripping hand, there is a rock that he comes with. Um, for the most part, it is fairly nicely painted. I mean, it's just a rock, so it's uh, fine. Looks like it's supposed to. Um, we do get the revolver. Looks quite nice. Some silver, some gold, some black. Um, there's no real wash or weathering to it, like how a Hot Toys gun would be painted, but um, it looks fine. I don't think there's any major painting errors with it, so 
looks quite good. Um, and then we get the longer uh, rifle, which again um, looks nicely weathered. Probably a better wash than the revolver, I would say, but that might be just because this has more of a metal look to it. Uh, we, of course, do get the poncho. It comes um, folded in. So this is uh, straight out of the box. I haven't done anything uh, with this figure at all. Um, I was going to do it last night, but I just um, didn't get a chance. So just taking the poncho out, you can see the pattern. Let's see if I can get on the other side here. Um, so yeah, you can see the pattern. I mean, it looks looks fine. Um, it's a very light cloth material, um, which I wasn't expecting. Actually, I was expecting a um, slightly thicker fabric. So yeah, this will do, I think. Um, I imagine a lot of people are going to leave the poncho on for this figure, so um, you probably want it to look good once it's on the figure. Alrighty, um, so yeah, not many accessories for this guy, but I suppose what could he actually come with? Um, they've still done the really annoying thing where they've put the Legacy Collection on the underside, uh, which I mentioned was the opposite to... Uh, Leatherface, I think it was, that had it on the top side. I do prefer them to have it on the top side, because I you're not going to see it once you've got your figure sitting on it and whatnot, but um, it is what it is. Alright. Um, so one thing I will say is, and I thought that the lights might have helped this a little bit, but it really doesn't. Um, this guy is really tanned. Um, and you can see that in the, uh, in the, the video now. Um, I thought the photos, um, I took a base photo yesterday. I didn't take it under lights or anything, but, um, I thought that it might have helped. Um... But um, it does a little bit. But yeah, for some reason, this guy is really tanned. And um, that definitely comes across uh, in the view. Uh, the hat is permanently fixed. And as is the cigar. So overall, I don't think the head sculpt is... I think the head sculpt looks fine. Um, like I said, it's just the fact that he's... Really tanned. But yeah, I think it definitely does a job of that serious um, Clint Eastwood look. Alright, coming down, we are going to have um, the scarf. Now, they've got the scarf tied uh, to the back there. I'll show that when I rotate the figure. Um, I did try to find some photos to see how Clint Eastwood actually wore it. Because uh, on the box, it's got the scarf tied to the side. Um, but I couldn't actually find a photo of him with the poncho off um that showed the scarf like it's, it's always there but it doesn't actually show you you can't tell where it's tied from so maybe he did wear it tied to the back all right so we can see the button shirt you can see the clip where the shirt um clips together because these aren't functioning buttons but um looks fine striped you see the fur look and um, hide look of the vest, where it ties together, the holster with the two buckles, belt looks fine, oh, there's the two relaxed hands that are on the figure, and then of course his boots, he does have spurs which we'll get to shortly, you can see the tips of them there, but um, as I said I don't think too many people are going to display this without the poncho anyway. Um, but at least they did a good job 
of that. Um, so the side look, you can see the strap on the hat uh, is obviously all painted, sculpted. Um, you can see the side look where the beard continues. The side of the vest there. Um, again, your relaxed hand, and you should be able to see, uh, you can see the spur from the side there. Bringing it around. The back of the vest. Um, you can probably futz around with that to bring it down a bit. You can see the bullets on the... You can see the bullets on the belt there. See, so yeah, that would just... Like I said, this is straight out of the box. So I haven't... around that but that'll just come down you can see pockets on the back of the figure there like the pants um, and you can see the spurs there as well um, I will lift him up in a sec off the display stand to show that a little bit better There you can, you can see one there, so looks fine, boots um, look fine. It's just a shame that um, a lot of these Sideshow figures are getting a higher uh, price point, but I suppose um, the exchange rate doesn't really help at the moment um, either. Uh, see, they can, you can see some weathering around the hat, uh, making the hat look a bit dusty, which I think works for the most part. It's not overly distracting or anything, and there is a sculpted crimple in the hat as well. Um, like I said, yeah, you can see that the lights there really help it. It definitely looks less tanned there. Um, so that type of a lighting makes this guy look a lot better. I think under Detoff lights, he'll look fine. Um, and then, like I said, there's those spurs. Very nicely detailed, very nicely rusted. Um, he should stand quite well without the display stand. Um, the shirt itself doesn't really hinder the articulation, I don't think. Uh, it's a very thin material, so yeah, you should be able to get some decent motion in there. I think the main thing's going to be uh, the poncho, which it should just be a matter of um, taking the sculpt off. No, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be much harder than I thought. Um, I've just tried to do the, so it is a rubber, um, a rubber body, and the joint has come out of the neck uh, rather than off the head. So that's going to want to pull out of the rubber body, which is then going to um, require me to feed it back through once the punch is on. So I am going to leave it for now just because it's just something that I don't want to do um, on camera because I've got no idea how long it would take and fiddling around with a rubber um, body that you can't see. Um, is usually quite tedious. But anyway guys, this has been a quick look at the good, the bad and the ugly Clint Eastwood figure from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, accessories are a little light, but as I said, I don't know what more you'd possibly actually give him. Um, and uh, the, like I said, um, rising costs and things are probably to blame for why this figure had a price so high. Um, keeping in mind that in my review for the Seven of Nine, I suffered the same issue with EXO, where um, the exchange rate meant that she was 380 compared to Chikate, which was only 320 So, and they both had the exact same um, pre-order price, and, I think, and deposit. But um, it, it's just one of those things, exchange rates rise and fall all the time, and 
whatnot. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. As I said, um, do join the Facebook group or like the community page if you haven't already done so. Um, this week we are still going to continue. Um, we've got the Mando Grogu 2 pack to go up. We've got the Gandalf and Shadow pack to go up. We've got Keel and the Blurg should be arriving today. And then um, that EXO Chikute figure. So um, yeah, do keep an eye out. There's going to be a lot of videos this week. Thanks for watching again, guys.